Welcome to another video from Avenue X, focusing on Chinese actors. Today, we're going to talk about an actress who I kind of have pre-warned people about in my last video in this series, Liu Shishi. You're watching Avenue X, where junkie and good storytelling shares their thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. Liu Shishi, I don't think she needs a lot of introduction. If you have watched Chinese dramas in any significant enough amount, you will know her name. Although she is not that old, she actually has been around in this industry for a long time. Liu Shishi, birth name Liu Shishi. Sounding exactly the same, but with one character written differently, was born on March the tenth, nineteen eighty-seven, in the city Beijing, the capital of China. Liu Shishi studied ballet since she was a very young child, and she did really, really well to the point that by age fifteen, she was admitted to Beijing Dance Academy, the ballet major, which is actually a university level. Program. So she is 15 years old, university student. During those years, when she did her professional dance training at Beijing Dance Academy, she had an opportunity of acting in a drama in 2004 called Yue Ying Feng He. It is too old to have an English translation title because in that drama they needed an actress who can dance professionally as a ballet dancer, and she got picked. It was the director of that drama who suggested her changing a character in her name as her artist name, so Shishi became Shishi, so that's easier for people to remember her name. And I don't know if there is any fortune telling element involved, but since then her name became Liu Shishi. During those years at Dance Academy, she also acted a very minor role. In the drama *Shao Nian Yang Jia Jiang*, which was led by Hu Ge, and because that drama was produced by Tang Ren, at that time one of the most influential Chinese drama producing company, and it was during that collaboration that this company Tang Ren noticed Liu Shishi. At the end of her study at the dance academy, it was said that due to her own restriction, she realized that she would not have a very good career as a professional dancer, and she decided to. Enter the entertainment business. So in the year 2007, she signed a contract with Tang Ren and became one of their leading actresses. In the first couple of years, she wasn't the most noticed actress in that company. In 2009, the Condor Hero drama *Shao Liao Yingxiong Zhuan*, led by Hu Ge, Yuan Hong, Lin Yichen, had her featured playing the character Mu Nianci, the second female lead. If you know a little bit about Chinese drama land, you probably also know that was the project. That was very fateful for the actor Hu Ge. He had his huge car crash during that shooting, and the entire crew stopped for a year to wait for him to come back. So that's a story for another time. Then in the year 2010, Liu Shishi got her first widely recognized role in another Tang Ren's production, *Xian Jian Qi Xia Zhuan Sun: Chinese Paladin 3*, that was led by Hu Ge, Huo Jianhua, Yang Mi. Tang Yan, also Liu Shishi. In that drama, she plays Long Kui, the girl who really has a split personality. When she is kind and gentle and good, she is the blue Long Kui, and when she goes crazy, she turns into the red Long Kui. And she is a very sad character who is basically a spirit that has been locked down in this sword. Now, when you think back, it's already been ten years, and after the huge success of that drama, she got an even more successful character, more well-known project coming out the next year in 2011 in a Qin Dynasty setting period drama that is still till today considered one of the best in its genre. The contemporary people time travel into ancient time and having a big romantic adventure type of drama in Chinese drama land called Bu Bu Jing Xing Scarlet Heart. I do not need to introduce that drama to you. If you know anything about Chinese drama, then you will definitely know this drama. This drama was so famous, so popular back then that later Korea made another version of it. In this drama, she played a contemporary girl who got mentally projected into Qin Dynasty, becoming a noble lady called Ruo Xi, and her. Very complicated romantic story with some of the most unfortunate princes of that dynasty because they are the sons of the Kangxi Emperor, 
and unfortunately the brother of Yongzheng Emperor. Although that drama is already nine years old, when I think back about this genre in particular, I would still say Bu Bu Jingxing is the best Chuan Yue drama that has ever existed in Chinese Romaland. So that character really made her known. Since then, she became a almost household name actress. Perhaps not for the oldest generation of people, but if you're relatively young in China, you would have known her from then on to now. And if you are her fan, you would also have a special feeling towards this drama because in this drama, her collaborator Wu Qilong later became her husband. But we'll talk about that later. Between the years of 2011 and 2014, she played in multiple other productions from this company. I'm not gonna mention them one by one. Some of them did better than others, but I would still say Scarlet Heart was the peak of her Dramaland adventure. Then in 2014, she starred in the film Xiu Chun Dao Brotherhood of Blades, which I liked very much. I've made videos about the series of Brotherhood of Blades. If you're interested, you can check that video out here. This film is one of her not so many film projects. So as an almost reverse version of Nini that I've mentioned in my last video, Liu Shishi mostly worked in Dramaland and occasionally dabbed in Filmland. She got married in 2015, and we can see a quite significant drop in quantities of work since then. Although she still led a couple of long dramas during this time, such as the 2016 Nu Yi Ming Fei Zhuan, the Imperial Doctress, in which she leads the drama with Huo Jianhua and Huang Xuan, and the Love Lost in Time, Zui Ling Long, in 2017, in which she leads the drama with Chen Wei Ting. We could probably call her this is the period of cooling off and considering what is the next stage of her career. As she ages and can no longer always play, you know, the teenager girls in fantasy dramas. And those two productions, I've seen both of them. Although I would say the production qualities compared to her earlier works are much higher. In terms of the story quality and also how popular and how well received they are, they are still no comparison to her earlier works. And I wouldn't totally blame this on the actress because the 2015 to current five years are drastically different from 2015 before in terms of what types of work got produced, what kind of mechanism was behind the production of most of the Chinese dramas. 2014 to 2015 was really the time where things started to change and perhaps not for the better. So there was a huge actually drop of script quality since that time till now. And no matter how talented you are as an actor or actress, you have to say your work is heavily dependent on other people's work. If there wasn't a good story to begin with, there's only that much you can do. Although Liu Shishi wasn't featured that often during those years in productions, she is still very much present. She also has been on so many magazine covers and she also looks great in shoots. We probably have to thank her years and years of dancing training as a ballet dancer. She's always holding her posture in the perfect way, sometimes perhaps even a little bit too much. But we have to be honest, her neckline, her shoulder just looks so good on camera. On April the 29th, 2019, she officially became a mother. And then she got back to work pretty fast. First shooting the drama to my dear self that is currently ongoing on Mango TV, leading the drama with the currently super popular actor Zhu Yilong. As we are speaking, she's also filming the drama with Nini Liu Jing Sui Yue, which I anticipate so much. I just cannot wait for that drama. And I hope it is a well-written script that is focused on the girl's bond, the female friendship, which we definitely can do more in Chinese Dramaland. As I've said at the end of the video about Nini, I would also say for Liu Shishi, I hope now that she has passed 30 years old, she has become a mom, she has moved on on her career from her beginning quite significant distance. I hope for her future, she is able to get more interesting scripts. She is able to play roles that are more complex, that are more diverse and her personal life happy and filled with joy. It is really not easy for actresses once they go over 30 to be treated with as much attention and even respect 
in the drama land in China, as say if they're in their 20s. It is a very unfortunate, very ugly situation. The worst thing is most of the scripts, the popular scripts, the kind of scripts that all the actors fight for are written for the younger women, which is very ridiculous situation in Chinese drama land. We do see it getting pushed and changed and challenged these days a little bit, but it's far from being enough. And we have to be honest that she's moving towards her 40 year old age mark. And I wish that the drama land will give her more opportunities and more complex roles that she should be playing at the time and probably as an actress to considering her career would be willing and actually wanting to play. And also at the end of this video, I will add, she is also called Ye <laughs> in the drama land by many people, mostly called Shi Ye because she is also a personality man very much. Go on internet and search her laugh and the way she laughs. <laughs> it's just such a strong contrast to her appearance. It's delicate, really pretty, really elegant, very feminine look. And since in the colloquial Beijing dialect, Ye is such a common word people use to call men as a type of teasing respectful term. Shi Ye for her is just perfect. So for the upcoming Liu Jing Sui Yue, my best friend's story, where she leads the drama with Nini, we will have two beautiful ladies who are well known in the drama land and also among their fans to be gender female, personality male person. How interesting that drama is potentially gonna be. I cannot wait to see that. And I hope all the best in her personal life and also in her career. Thank you for watching our new Exit video. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.